take your practice to the next level with our Boho Beautiful official app. Your number one stop for an entire exclusive library of yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and so much more. Download it today in the App Store. Welcome, friends, to your morning wake-up yoga class. This is a full-body wake-up class for anybody who's short on time in the morning or if you want to sneak in a quick warm-up before more intense yoga practice and you just don't feel that you have the energy or that your muscles are at all prepared to step onto the mat and do anything beyond just waking up. It's part of our series, but it's also perfect to be done before any class. So if you grab your mat and your water and your tired eyes, let's go to our mats and begin. When you join the Boho Beautiful official app, you get immediate access to thousands of hours of content, tons of exclusive member-only videos, all completely ad-free. Plus, take part in monthly community initiatives, calendars and live streams, and the Community Karma Project. It's time to feel great from the inside out. Download it today in the App Store. All right, friends, let's begin down at the bottom of our mat in hero pose on our knees and just take one deep mindful breath in, filling up the entire lungs, bringing our consciousness to our mind-body connection and inhaling together. Holding the breath just for a moment and slowly exhaling as we start to mindfully walk our hands to the front of our mat, finding child's pose, which to me is the perfect first pose, almost always used in my practice every single morning. Now, if your shoulders are a little tight, keeping your arms out is great. Allowing your forehead to come a little deeper, if need be, and pulling your arms to the side of your body is perfectly fine too. The idea when you're waking up is you don't know where the, st or I don't know where the stiffness is, you do. So find the version of child's pose that suits you the best, just for a minute here. As we connect to our breath, I'm adding a little bit of motion, a little rock. It's really great on the legs, on the hamstrings, on the quads. If you want, you can have your arms out like this and add a little bit of a sway in here to wake it up. Uh, or keep those hands at the side and just sort of, you can push your body down into the mat using your hands as a little bit of leverage. But find the child's pose that speaks to you or rotate through the, through the different variations. The last one I'll show you too is great for the arms in the back and it's just a stretch and open up like this. Maybe you can add a little bit of shoulder drops or just a little bit of rocking back and forth a couple more breaths here as we experiment find what's speaking to you this morning breathing in filling up those lungs and slowly letting the air exhale back out wonderful and on your next exhale, let's slowly come back up to hero and tuck our toes just for a second to wake up those feet, putting our weight down onto our heels, toes tucked, breathing in, reaching up, holding here and stretching as if someone's pulling your hands up to the ceiling of the room that you're in or to the sky if you're outside. Feeling that stretch in the shoulders and exhaling, bring our hands down to heart, untucking our toes, <sighs> inhale, stretch hands up above head, exhale, drop your right hand to the right side of your mat, slide your left hip off your heels to just push tw down towards the mat and lean to the right, opening up that side body all the way down through your shoulder, underneath your arm <sighs> and down to your psoas couple of quick mindful breaths here 
with every breath imagining just sending energy into that side body to open it up and stimulate it waking it up and coming back over and exhaling bringing that right hand sliding your right hip off of the heel towards the mat and pulling over towards the left side of your mat a couple mindful breaths here breathing in and breathing out and one more breath in on your exhale coming back to center walking into tabletop position for a quick cat cow breath in looking up breath out pushing your back up to the ceiling breath in bringing the arch into your spine as we look upwards and exhale back down beautiful now take a second here and add a little bit of motion or continue with just the straight up and downs you can go in circles waking up that spine clockwise counterclockwise find what feels right for you this morning and just focus on that because this is a beautiful just creative and free way to just find how many times you can crack your back <laughs> for me it's, it seems endless all right excellent next let's slide slowly down into puppy just to activate those shoulders in a deeper stretch keeping those fingers fanned spread apart dropping the toes to the mat trying to stack the knees and the hips for a couple quick mindful breaths here as we just sort of let our body know it's time to begin if we really focus on our breaths poses like this and in a quick morning class like this the more deep you can breathe the more your body will stimulate and wake up so try your best to stay with that breath and fill those lungs up as much as you can making noise as you exhale and inhale just to remind you on your next exhale let's just slide forward wake up that lower back that upper chest into a cobra hands flat pulling your shoulders back as if they're being opened up your heart to the front of the room closing your eyes taking a few more mindful breaths right here wonderful coming back up on your next exhale sliding your weight back down your mat just to counter that pose into a child's pose right again taking the variation that you think serves you the most just for a minute and noticing how it feels to find your child's pose at this point in your practice we're five six minutes in and how different does your body feel how awake and again like maybe this time you want to try the arm stretch behind your back maybe there's a beautiful way to side body stretch and that's bringing your right hand to one side and reaching across like so oh that really opens up the shoulders and the arm if you do one side make sure to balance out and do the other but this morning wake up is really about you feeling what your body responds to listening to the signals and basically molding this practice to customize it for what your body needs so i'm just the signpost it's you that's doing all the work coming into plank now just to engage that core wake it up a couple deep conscious breaths really hold tension in your core flexing your legs as well you know allowing the hamstrings to tighten the quads to tighten and the core if you just really hold all those stomach muscles just as tightly as you can just for a second here deep breath in and exhale coming back into downward dog and here in downward dog we're going to focus on our breath and on each exhale attempting to bring our chest just a little further down towards the mat 
sinking in the heels, keeping those knees locked if you can, or micro-bending if you need to, and just allowing gravity to pull you down closer and closer. Now let's add a little bit of a walk, if that feels nice. Again, some mornings stillness serves me best in allowing gravity to the work. Other mornings, oh, just experimenting with different motion and different poses can give such varying and beneficial results. All right, excellent. On your next inhale, let's take two steps up to the front of our mats. Falling downwards towards the earth, grabbing our elbows, adding a little sway if that's nice, here in forward fold. Excellent. Coming back to our breath, closing our eyes, letting gravity do the work. Wonderful. And slowly coming back up to standing. Opening up our palm to the front of the room, pushing our pelvis slightly out, rolling our shoulders just back, lifting our chin, finding mountain pose. The heart is really beating. The class is well underway. We are waking up to have the most perfect day. Thank yourself right here just for a minute for being here, for showing up on your mat and for investing this very short period of time in having the perfect day, setting yourself up for success. And let's take an inhale, raising our hands up above head, bringing palms together. Exhale, dropping down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, stepping back with your right foot. Landing in lunge, inhaling, bringing our body up, sinking here, taking two deep breaths. <sighs> Inhale, exhale down to the earth. Back into plank, dropping down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, pushing the earth away from you. And coming back to downward facing dog. Let's take a breath here just for a second before taking two steps. Or if you're awake enough, hopping up to the front of your mat and slowly coming back up to standing. Inhale, hands above. Exhale, hands down to heart. One more time, other side. Inhale, reaching to the sky. Exhale, falling down towards your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, stepping back with your left foot this time, trying to straighten the knee. And as we inhale, bringing our body back up into lunge. Taking two mindful breaths here. Really allowing gravity to sink a little deeper, if you can. If you're not quite awake and you want to be down with your knee touching, that's perfectly fine too. One more inhale. And exhale, dropping hands down to the front of the mat. Coming back into plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pushing that earth away. And downward facing dog. Beautiful. Taking a mindful moment before we step or hop to the front of your mat. And now walk your feet to the sides of your mat. And let's just wake up those hips and lower body by coming into a quick yogic squat. Just to really open up those hips just for a second here. Again, you can add a little bit of a rock. Sometimes I add side body stretches, but whatever feels right for you here as you squat down. If you can't get into full squat, the more you bring your, your feet angled out or the further apart, the easier it'll be to find this pose. For me, I have a hard time with my calves, so I really, they're not really loose enough yet to have them close and straight. So I separate because that's where I am on my journey. And wherever we are on our yogic journeys is exactly where we're supposed to be. And where we are right now this morning, 
here on our mats together is exactly where we should be. All right, let's bring our hands behind and slowly come back down into a little ball at the back of our mat and just give ourselves a hug, squeezing it, making it more active than passive, adding a little bit of a rock and coming up to seated back in the center of our mats to just take a moment, breathing in, hands up above head, exhaling, hands down to heart, and saying thank you for taking this quick little 15 minutes to wake up this morning, to set an intention for the day, or to prepare ourselves for the next class, which is probably going to be a little bit more uh, active um, and bring a lot more circulation and um, benefit to your body in waking yourselves up further. Thank you for being here with me today, this morning. I appreciate it every time we step on the mat together. Namaste. why why you are practicing yoga why are we getting on the mat right i find that like in the especially in the west you know it's 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 become so popular as we all know and it's almost turned into more of a a physical thing that we get on the mat to feel good to practice but then it's wonderful when you can go back to these places where it began it opens your heart and mind mm -hmm. to like understand like there's so much more to the practice of yoga. It's not just the asana work. That's just one limb of the eight limbs, right? Um, it's interesting. Like that's one of the big reasons why Mark and I um, began traveling so much because there's just like this different self growth that you can experience yeah. when you immerse yourself in these different cultures and these different religious practices or spiritual practices. You know, it's it really, really, really. And my mo expansive. the most valuable the excursions adventures trips mm -hmm. that we've been on have all been to places that have this deep spiritual resonance and like i you know when we were in like mount kalash in tibet like i felt yes. it like yeah. there's a feeling like it like it's an energy that enters your body and is that did you do you feel it like when you were at the bodhi tree like, is there is there an actual like mm -hmm. how does that feel to, how did it feel to you to be there it felt incredible um we sat and we meditated the whole group um, under the Bodhi tree. We had a special time span of four hours to sit and meditate under the tree. And four hours went like that. Wow. Huh. It was like literally like it was like you literally tap into this space where so much devotion, so much bhakti, so much complete and utter absorption has happened in the space that it creates a vortex of energy, mm -hmm. you know.